we really like the approval voting primary followed by a top two runoff for a few reasons. One of the top reasons is actually to avoid any games and to encourage people to use approval voting because when you have some incentive to ensure your, you know, that there might be multiple candidates that you like in the runoff, you're more incentivized to want to select at least two to approve. At least that's our theory. The other was something that uh, you all might be familiar with, with some of the um, academic concerns about approval voting. What about bullet voting? Things like that. And so, you know, allowing for a, creating a runoff, um, you know, based on our conversations with election experts around the country, pretty much gets rid of that concern that people will game the system by bullet voting. Because again, it incentivizes you to actually try to vote your at least favorite two. Um, it also ensures that the ultimate um, result of the election has very clear voter intent. Because when you have a really clean top two runoff, whoever wins that, you can't say, oh, everyone voted for you know, this guy with this funny name because they thought, you know, he wouldn't win and they all approved of him. And look, now he's our U.S. Senator. Um, to us, we like the idea of having the runoff because there's no one can argue that whoever wins has a strong mandate to lead. Um, and, you know, we want to ensure that there's more consensus building and that people are incentivized, regardless of gerrymandering or whatever the nature is of the state or their district, that um, that they have that mandate to lead and that they have that broad accountability to the people. Um, there was one